this third and last video, we will walk through a lighting power density submittal using individual files. Let's revisit the qualification questions. In this case, we selected no to the COM check. The next question is, was the project overseen by a credential lighting designer? Here, we selected yes. So in the drop down below, we select individual files. If you select no to that question, it drops you down to the next question. Are all fixtures selected as either DLC or Energy Star? We select yes here. So either one of those, either yes to one of those questions, uh, two or three in the list, will lead you to the individual files tab. We then input the customer data. Uh, we proceed to fill in the customer information and select hours of use. We provide hours. Uh, as default based on type of facility, or you can describe the hours of use. Please show your work and the calculation you use for the annual hours of use. Once you decide which way you are going to go, enter the annual hours in column B below. Again, in the LPD measure summary, that is the only place that you will enter data. The requirements tab is a reference. It's a replica of what is listed in the, the lighting catalog and it just is a list of requirements that you need to uh, provide uh, the documentation that is needed, et cetera, uh, to submit the application. The next tab is asking for information from a dimensional drawing. We are asking that you provide a dimensional drawing of the space. Please highlight the dimensions that you are using and how you came up with the square footage. You can see the calculation provided here. That will be entered into the uh, square footage area tab. Please describe the area, uh, possibly what's in in the, uh, the area of the space provided. In this case, that was a fire station. You might have uh, a couple different locations, uh, warehouse, office space, etc. List those and describe the uh, square footage uh, that's provided on your dimensional drawing. You can use as many space types as uh, you need to do this. The next tab is asking for detailed information about the fixtures. So we're asking that you provide a fixture layout. An example is provided here, as well as a lighting fixture schedule. Um, just helps us to define the detail around what you're providing, uh, lists out potential quantities, types of fixtures, et cetera. Uh, and then we're asking that you enter that information into the fixture list uh, tab. So again, uh, if you reference back to the drawing, we had two fixture types. Uh, the quantities were uh, listed there and the wattages will be provided with some of the spec sheets that are coming up here. Once we enter that data, again, that's auto filled back on the start here tab. Uh, energy savings is calculated. The incentive amount is calculated. And we can continue to move on. You can embed your information, basically the documentation providing the wattage amounts uh, on this tab, uh, either the lighting specs or the QPLs that are uh, provided from the DLC list or an energy star. Uh, we're just asking that you uh, input uh, all documentation regarding the wattage of the fixtures here. The invoices tab is also a place to drop or embed uh, Proof of purchase, we're looking for detailed invoices, uh, providing hopefully the, the quantities line up and the make and model number of the fixtures. Again, this is a place to drop that information. Uh, if the file is too big and you want to provide separately, you can certainly do that. This is a page just to help you. Uh, it, it provides a, a method to embed the documents. Again, you can use this, embed the documents if you like. If you're not comfortable or the files are too big, you can provide them as separate files. Once we have the information together, we want to uh, enter that information onto the application. This is section seven showing the application here. Provide the incentive code, uh, the, the kilowatt hours, the reduced uh, amount of reduction, the incentive amount, you can also add any other measures here, exterior lighting, mechanical uh, uh, equipment that qualifies and uh, enter that information here as well. When you're ready to submit the application, 
please have all of the information uh, together. We were, we're asking for a filled out, uh, completely filled out and signed application, provide the LPD workbook, provide that dimensional drawing so that we can verify the square footage, uh, provide your lighting layout uh, and lighting schedule as built so that we can verify fixture quantities, provide your specifications, your DLC uh, or, or Energy Star um, QPLs, and so that we can verify the wattage of the fixtures. And then we are also looking for the documentation for the as-built invoices. Again, detailed invoices, quantities, make, model number, and submit that to business at focusonenergy.com. This concludes our third video. Um, again, if there are any questions, please contact us by phone or by email. Thank you.